When you see elite athletes, like a footballer for example, and they kick a ball between the posts, you can bet that they've probably done it about 25,000 times before they've actually done it in the game. And as painters, we don't seem to employ that strategy. What we do is we pick up our brush and we start, we get onto our canvas and we wonder why the marks that we want to make aren't the marks that we actually make. So I think a really nice strategy is to actually make sure you understand your brushes and make sure you have an understanding of what your brush is going to do before you make your mark. So what I've actually done is I've broken the idea of using a paintbrush down and I've come up with a, a little way of thinking about things that hopefully might make it a little easier. So fundamentally there are three mark or three things that I think will affect the marks that a paintbrush makes. The first one is the amount of pigment that you put on the brush. The second thing is the amount of pressure that you apply. And the third thing is whether or not you apply any medium to that. So for example, if I put a lot of paint in my brush, I make a nice strong mark. But if I, for example, take off most of that paint, and even if I apply the same amount of pressure, it still makes a different mark. Another example would be, if I make a mark like this, using a lot of pressure, with the same brush, use very little pressure, and make a completely different mark. Now, I'll add some medium, and in this particular occasion the medium is water. So you'll see they're the two marks that I've made before. Now if I add some medium to that, you can see that that's thinner and paler. And again, add more medium. The benefit of adding medium means that your, it makes your brush flow or it makes the paint flow. So if you add a medium, for example, you can draw out a nice long line. You can't do that if you haven't added a medium. So, one of the strategies that I do before I make a mark on my painting is I think to myself, what is the mark I want to make? Do I want it to be dry and grainy? If so, I don't put any medium in it and I use a soft touch. Do I want it to cover really well? If so, I use a little bit more pressure and lots of paint. If I want it to flow and draw out long lines, I add mediums and maybe a little less pressure. So every time you make a mark on your painting, have a quick think about the mark that you want to make and exactly how you're going to get that brush to make that mark. It's not a bad idea either to have a spare canvas right next to you so you can make that mark on the canvas and then that way you do make all your mistakes over here and hopefully not in your wonderful painting. So remember, pressure, amount of paint and amount of medium. So just as a follow-on to what I've been saying, what I'm going to do here is use my brush in slightly different ways using different amounts of pressure and different amounts of medium. So for example, I've got a little bit of paint here and I'm going to use the tip of my brush to create the illusion of grass. And I can, for example, use that uh, with a paler colour over a green to create the illusion of highlights on the top of the grass. I can use my brush here and I add a little bit of medium to it and I can actually create the illusion of tree branches here and then use the tip of the brush. I mean this is just quick of course but gives you an idea. Okay. Of course I can use lots and lots of paint to scrub in large areas. But I really want you to think about those little deft uh, touches because they're the ones that make the difference. They're the ones that make the difference how much pressure you apply, how much paint you have and how much medium you have. Another one, another lovely little example would be a post sitting in the water and the reflection. Okay, a little bit of medium, paint flows beautifully. 
I always try and remember, every time I make a mark, know exactly what mark you can make before you put your, pen, your brush on your canvas. It's going to save you a lot of pain.